subscribe to the channel right now or I will love you. Anyways, man, leave a like. Let's get right into the video, man. Uncle Demi, if y'all don't know, that boy been leaking some information, man. He been going crazy because he's a Nets maker. I heard it's like tears to it and he just... He just talking, man. He just talking. So we finna go ahead and go to Twitter right now. Before we watch the video where he, he talks about the My Player Builder, there might be a battle pass, a paid battle pass. But before we get into all that, man, let me know right now in the comment section. Uncle Demi said, what's the tallest a build should be and still be able to get pro dribble animations now he only asked that for one reason i'm gonna let you use your brain to figure out now it's either 611 610 or 69 4 000 people voted 40k seen it the majority 69 62 percent you see it on the screen i of course put 611 just to troll but all really i will put 610 i feel like but yeah, man, let me know in the comments section. That's really about it. He's just been doing polls, which is weird. He usually don't do that. You feel me? He's doing it for a reason. Obviously, he's gathering information. All right, man. What anybody says on these polls that Uncle Demi is doing. You feel me? But let's go ahead and attack the big animal. What you all came to the video for. Uncle Demi has been dropping bombs and this video is titled nba look at 24 my player builder and i believe this is the right video i believe this is the right video we have to watch because he's gonna leak something that you need to see or at least hear about once you give there we go. There is multiple ways to be able to win and be successful. Okay. Um, same thing for spot ups. I mean, no, I, had a pure, I had a pure yeah, um, green spot up. I had a green yellow. I mean, a green, yeah, green red, red spot up. Um, shooter. Hell, I, I had a lob threat. I hit legend with a lob threat, a pure blue lob threat. Right? right, so, so slash, slash shot slash. creators, shooting, non-shooting, you name it. I mean, lockdowns were crazy, right? You know, it was just to me, the there was just a lot other than you know what we had this year, where everybody, everybody was, was just around with the same time. And I, so, first and foremost, you know, I just want to say like I don't know nothing about the building, right? So I know people are gonna think that you know I have inside sight, whatever. But um, the reality is, no, I do not know nothing about the building. But I'm able to use kind kind um, text fluidly, right? I'm able to use the knowledge that i do have and just know the cycle of the game to understand a few things right so first and foremost one thing we definitely have to understand is that um two k's never going to the charts for two k is never going back to pie charts man how do you feel about it let me know it's like once you give an individual free reign to make their build any way you want is going to be extremely hard to go back, right? Well, they did take you know green animation as soon as we green from us. Hopefully, they bring it back in twenty four. But like you just said, man, pie charts is not coming back because obviously, once you let us, you know, have access to literally choosing our own attributes, how high or how low we wanted to go, it's going to be very difficult to bring it back to a set amount but basically he finna tell you right now man keep listening keep watching the video so, so you know, you know again, we're talking about like pushing forward advance, advancement and just again it's very hard to go back on something so i'm going to go ahead and say like i'm pretty sure it's still going to be open where you can change every attribute that you want okay so that right there is 100 percent you know my opinion on that You heard him. Let's keep watching. So like, going to be open to where you can, you know, do any attribute that you want. 
Okay. okay. So we'll so put, put that out. Now, the next thing will be though, right? How is it going, going to work? To work. Now, when now, we first we got into this, where you had freedom to do whatever you want, that was in 2K21 Next Gen. And again, we were able to break it within like three weeks. Remember, if y'all remember, um, it was what, the 6 8 demi guy because you didn't have to have close shot. shot that close shot didn't shot. matter. So everybody was just negated just close shot close and was able to make these demi guy builds. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty toxic, right? Really, what they have to do is just make every attribute matter. That's all you got to do. In the game, the build system will follow suit. And then, of course, in NBA 2K22, it was the same exact, exact thing. thing. We were able to figure out how to break the builds. Heck, we were able to like do like the metric system. People were running around with 6.8s, 6.7s, um, with like, all, like the all the animations the and, and all that type stuff because of the Imperial... And metric system, system glitch that you could be able to do. So, so and then of course, and then of course in 2K23, it was the 6.9s and yeah. the 6.1s. But also, we understood or we found out, which again, this one actually took a little bit more time. But we found out that, you know, like speed with ball, only thing you need was a 75. And um, pass accuracy, all you need was a 75 because, you know, you can just do basic or LeBron James. Um you know, you speed. Know, speed. You didn't even need speed, right? right? So speed, people were just getting 75, 75 speed, speed. And then it's and maximum it's acceleration. acceleration. You know, strength didn't really have much of a factor. So, I mean, with all those things being said, it's going to be very difficult, you know, you know to, to catch it, right? right? But, you know, for 24, we can be rest assured that the issues we had in 23 is definitely going to be addressed, right? So... And they already came out and said this man, Mike Wayne, said all the exploits in 23, they are now fixed for 24. That is already confirmed. Be rest assured that, you know, you ain't going to 75 speed of ball is not going to like, come on, it's not going to happen. Right? Right. You're going to have to have, to have a, deep, a fast speed of ball to be able to get what you need to get. Um, same thing for your pass accuracy. You're going to have to have your pass accuracy up. Um, no more of those 6'9 type demigod builds. I don't know how that's going to be worked. Like, you know, I'm thinking that. He also just confirmed there are no more 6 9 meta builds in NBA 2K24. Let me know how you feel in the comment section right now. Right now. You, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's up to debate about, about how you can, how can make it. I still feel like tall ball handlers, you know, you know should, have should have a place in the game. I still I feel, feel like, like, you know, like, like the, the poor boy And that's why he made that poll. He feel like tall dribblers should still be able to do what they can do because obviously they have a low three, which really takes more skill. And those type those of guys, guys that, that really, really figured out a way happens. to have a low three ball but still have a high ball handle and cook up, I like that, right? So I'm thinking like being able to have maybe animation tiers at a higher tier to be able to push up to get. So you're going to have to have speed with ball. You're going to have, have to have a high ball handle. Ball. As you get taller, those points weigh more. You know, um, also expect six ones not to be able to get everything again like dunking and that type of deal so again i feel like six ones you know, you know it's, it's, it's gonna be so impossible, impossible to be able to get like a 90 something driving dunk um and have all the freedom to do whatever you want in my opinion i feel like you should be like this all right and again just let me know how you feel but i feel like the builder should be something to where it's like puts you back in pie charts <laughs> Oh, that's a big one right there, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I just feel like that. I just feel like the community, you know, you know they, they want, want to be lied to in that aspect. They want to be like, yo, like, yeah, I want the freedom to make every build, like, make my build any way I want. But at the end of the day, I think people will be better with role players. And I feel like role players not only will put different type of play styles on the park, park. but it but also will make it more competitive. Um, it'll bring, it'll bring more of the strategicness to the game. And he is right, man. I feel like that's really what everybody wants. Because once we have the freedom, really, it's just been like there is meta. Obviously, every one build is going to be the best build in the game. But it's really no diversity. I mean, like he said, everybody running the same build. And I feel like, you know, like he said, it just would bring the 2K20 vibes back when every build was good in their own way. Your own play style can be viable again. You feel me? Um, you know, 
having you know lockdowns and defense overpowered, um, along with our overpowered all. And that's hey man, I've been telling 2K this, bro. Buff defense, man. The NBA 2K24 leap offense the way it is. You feel me? Slight tweaks. Make it overpowered versus overpowered. Right? No? Man, like like the video if you agree, man. Because it's like, if you play part, man, it's for part, man. man. All things, I feel like both. And that would just be, hey, still grinding, still, you know, type of deal. So that's kind of how I look at it. But again, it's really up to, you know, the community to, to, to decide on that. But I guarantee you this, and I want everybody to, you know, put this in here. If, if the game the comes back where it's something like this game that you see up here, up here where, where the builds, the builds are very are versatile, where you step on the park, you have, you know, you can be in the park for a whole hour and you've seen 17, 18 different builds. You've seen people range, range from, from 6'1 six six to 7 foot, foot, right? right like everybody's 6'9". Right. I don't see how people can complain about that. But you know the you community know, can find a way to complain about that. But in my opinion, I feel like that would just be refreshing, right? To step on the court and be like, you actually got to look at the player card and go, oh, snap, what's this dude? Six four? Four. What? What, what, is what is this dude? Like, okay, okay, cool. Oh, what is this dude? Seven feet? All right, cool. Six nine. Is this dude a slasher? Shooter? Like, you know, it's just like that. Instead of knowing like, yo, everybody can do everything. It, just, it gets, you know, it gets, it's that like grinch with Pete. It gets stepped So, but that's but what that's I'm thinking what I'm about. Thinking about. Just use like, common sense when it comes to that. Expect everything to be different when it comes to all the issues you had in 23. So take so it in the now, 21, 22, and 23, and just know that all three of those games, when they had the, when they started the free the builder, builder using the actions you want, want, all those all glitches those and animations or um, exploits that were being used, do not expect that to be in the game. So I expect 24 the by far the best have builder we've had in the past three years, right? All right, man. And that's really about it, man. If you want to watch the whole video, you know where to find Uncle Demi on YouTube. His socials is literally right there. Crazy video, W video. Shout out Uncle Demi, man. Doing what he do. But, um, yeah, man, y'all let us know. The free builder system is coming back in NBA 2K24 with restrictions. Basically, um, hopefully it's like an archetype. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and yeah, man, everything in 23 that you think you can be able to do in 24 is going to be gone out the game. Uh, we're going to see if defense is overpowered. We're going to see if offense stays super overpowered, catered towards the casuals, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. That's really the updates. We're really waiting on gameplay. Trailer, I believe, is next week, man. So the hype is real. The hype is coming. NBA 2K24 is less than a month away. Leave a like and subscribe. And I will definitely, man, catch y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Be safe. Be kind, man. Peace.